Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me once again. Well, it's coming, isn't it? I'm not talking about the football lever, I'm talking about the general election on the 4th of July. Not very far away now, and we've got all of the political parties buying for their position and saying all the wonderful things that they're gonna do for us in their manifestos, that horrible word that never means anything over the course of time. Well, isn't it about time that ch that changed? Yeah, I think it is. Well, one thing I, I find very important with our local politicians, and there are some exceptions to the rule, is that they need to have some kind of idea about the local area they live in. Ideally, they need to live in the local area or somewhere near it, so it makes interacting with everybody a lot easier. Take the last MP for my area, Craig McKinley. Uh, originally, he had uh, business interests outside of the area and also property outside of the area, but himself and his wife and daughter located to here, so they had a property locally, and I think that's the right thing to do. Well, out of all the candidates for uh, East Thanet, my constituency, my constituency, place I live, not all of them live locally. Now, the ones that I've called out before are the Conservative uh, candidate and the Labour candidate, both of which aren't from here and don't really have much of an idea of what goes on and the needs of the people. I've got to call out this tweet here and it, it made me smile. This is the uh, Conservative candidate that's going to be standing in the general election for East Thanet and she quite clearly says vote for somebody that lives local and will listen to you. Well I agree with the sentiment actually, I agree with both of those statements. The only issue I have is she doesn't live locally, in fact nowhere near, she, she comes from Wellingborough, that's a very uh, publicly documented fact. So has she listened and what does she know about the area and more importantly it's a bit of a, a not very straightforward honest post because she's implying that she lives locally when in fact she's not from here. It's all over her social media and everything else and she actually stood in the general general election against Ben Habib so a parachuted in candidate on behalf of the Conservatives. No, I don't like it. Same with Labour. We want somebody local who knows what's going on. Speaking of that, tomorrow at nine o'clock in the evening I will be talking again to the local reform candidate for East Thanet. You will see that and we'll have a good chat like we did last time. Let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. If you're on social media, give me a share. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.